Hey guys, Rashid Phillips here. And today I want to take you along with me as I prepare an amazing prime rib. It's such a succulent piece of meat and you don't have to go and think outside of the box to bring out its amazing rich flavors. Today we're going to use some very fresh ingredients. You guys know I'm a huge fan of fresh ingredients. I'm talking lemon, lemon zest, lemon juice. Let's get as much use out of that thing as humanly possible. We're talking some fresh thyme, some fresh rosemary, some garlic. We're then going to add in some very simple salt, some black pepper, and we're going to use some unsalted butter. We use unsalted butter because we want to have full control over how much salt we're adding to our dish. With this thick cut of meat, you're going to need a lot of it, but you want to have full control the entire time. Oftentimes, salt ruins dishes more so than it helps it. Once we have all of those amazing ingredients, we're going to compile them together. We're going to have a nice uh, spread, if you would, because we're going to let our butter come up to room temperature. We're going to fold in our ingredients, the lemon zest, the lemon juice. We're going to microplane out the garlic, finely mince and chop down the oregano and the rosemary and the thyme. And to make sure we do this cook properly, we're going to use the aid of our Meter Plus Pro. That's going to make sure that we don't overcook. We can set the designated internal temperature and get a perfect cook each and every time. So we're going to launch it, use our app, set it, get our meat set into the smoker, and then just monitor from our phone. Just that simple. It's time for a drink. Beverage, if you would. Is the same as yesterday? It's a little, it's a little late. Yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. You're just, you're just off today. I know. It's had a long night. I mean, <laughs> you were there. <laughs> you know why. But I'm here. That's true. I'm going. I'm going to make myself one. You should. <laughs> It'll make you feel better. <laughs> God, these are just so good. Now, I like to make sure that I keep my oven or my smoker or my grill running a little hotter than I normally would because as I'm opening and closing the door or the lid of my smoker or grill, a lot of heat is gonna escape and I wanna maintain a good temperature once I place my meat in there. So I like to start a little bit higher, then throttle it back down and have to fight to get it going upward in the right direction. We've got an amazing four bone prime rib here. You can get this at your local butcher shop and you can have them French it for you. What is Frenching? This where the bones are clean and exposed and they don't have any extra uh, membrane or any extra fat or uh, meat or any muscular tissue on them. Just nice and clean. It's not a must. It's more for presentation purposes, but just one of those little things that if you're looking to elevate the overall look of your dish, having it Frenched will do so. We've got great marbling here. And once again, marbling is just that intermuscular wovenness of the fat throughout the meat. And that's what you want to look for when you're selecting a beautiful piece of meat like this. And your butcher will help you as well. Our butcher took care of us. We don't have that back membrane on, so the meat is properly exposed. So it's going to get a nice even coating of seasoning, flavor, and smoke. And you may see me rubbing my hand over a couple of times. I do that because when these guys are cut, sometimes there'll be little bone fragments that chip off and fly off onto the meat. And once you get your rub on, once it's smoked and it's coated, you can't really tell what's what. And if you take a bite into that, it's gonna hurt. So it never hurts to just run your hand over a few times just to make sure there aren't any bone chip fragments anywhere. I'm gonna do an extremely light trim. Why? Because we're gonna have this meat resting and cooking for a fair amount of time, I want to leave as much fat on there to render out and impart as much flavor as possible. So all we're going to do is remove a little bit of some silver skin, any pieces that are just too hard, some pieces of fat that literally just want to lift off like that, but we're not going to get too, too detailed. Remember, this is a cook for friends and family, not for judges. Most importantly, make sure you have a sharp knife. A dull knife is the most dangerous thing in the kitchen. And if you don't have a smoker at home, perfectly fine. You can do this exact same cook and recipe with the ingredients using your oven at home. That's the wonderful thing about the Meter Plus Pro. It's versatile. You can either use it on the grill or the stovetop, whichever works best for you. A few things to keep in mind while doing this prep, make sure you've taken 
all your ingredients out and they're ready to go. So they're right at arm's reach, you know, your mise en place. Also, first thing to come out right after your meat should be your butter. So it comes up to room temperature and it makes it very easy to fold all of our ingredients into. Once we've trimmed up our prime rib to our liking, we're gonna poke a couple of holes in there. This will allow me to create little pockets of flavor that I can go ahead and slide in some fresh herbs, some fresh garlic, some of the thyme, and even some of the butter solution we're gonna be coating our prime rib in. There's no like, particular way or exact positioning. Just be mindful where you poke your holes because you don't wanna poke one that's gonna to be too close to where you're gonna insert your probe. I like to poke just about two to three inches above and in between each bone. Very simple. And you're just gonna actually make a little cross. Nothing too crazy, you're not trying to skewer or go directly through the meat. Just deep enough to where when the meat cooks and it swells, it doesn't swell so much and push the seasoning out. Then run a finger in, make a little pocket. Poke a little hole, wiggle, make a pocket, good to go. And I like to do set from underneath as well. And we all hate peeling garlic and we all end up with those little useless nubs. Those nubs, these are the perfect place to insert them. So once we form those pockets, insert those little nugget pieces of garlic, push deep down in there, and then you're gonna be able to insert on top of that some of the butter spread that we've made. One other thing I like to do is gently score the exterior of the meat so that as I apply that butter spread, it can seep in a bit. Nothing too crazy, very lightly. We're not doing deep cuts. We're just gonna score the exterior just a bit to help our butter spread penetrate the meat just a bit more. We're gonna start at the bottom of our prime rib, giving it a nice even coat. Then we're gonna go ahead and make sure we rub our nice butter, lemon, herb all over the top, generously and evenly. All right, guys, we have our prime rib pierced, filled with garlic and our butter herb spread. We have it coated on the exterior. Our smoker's up to temper running at 350 degrees. We're now going to finish off this whole process by inserting our meter plus probe and then getting our prime rib onto the smoker. When inserting your probe, there's a little etched line here. You wanna make sure that you insert up to that point, all right? Now that we have our probe inserted, we can just simply go ahead and set up the cook in our meter app. We're gonna tap set up cook, select beef, roast, rib roast, now you may see the period 135, that's meter recommends. And that's gonna happen depending upon whichever protein you select. We're gonna go ahead and select medium rare. Once that's selected, start cook. Make sure that you keep your meter probe and charging block unit close to the actual probe itself. Select start. And now it's gonna estimate the time needed for our cook. We can now place our prime rib onto our smoker to fully start the cook. Just, just look at that. Doesn't that just look good? You know what I'm saying? So, so good. We have finished our cook. Our app has alerted us that the cook has completed. We've let it rest. And I know this, because it says so right on the screen. So now we can actually slice into this amazing prime rib. And please, please, please make sure you remove your probe first before you start slicing. Okay. Look at that, look at that. I wish you guys could smell this, but hopefully you'll take a shot and make this at home. Mm 
Ah, oh, there we are. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you can start to see we've got some little pockets here. There's some of that garlic we put in there earlier. Shave off a little thin slice here. There we are. Perfectly done. One of the benefits of using Meter Plus Pro, you're gonna get consistent results each and every time. All right, guys, the cook has been completed. I wanna thank you guys so much for coming along with me during this cook. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you picked up a thing or two and that you're pleased with the results. For more recipes like this, please head over to meter.com. Cheers.